I didn't know the buses ran this late. They don't. <laughs> well, they're dropping someone off. Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. So today I have a video on GT Online talking about something really quickly, but it's kind of important, and that is that GT Online public sessions are just completely broken. Completely. They're both broken on PC and on console. And on PC, you know, we talked about that issue where there's those modders that have that new menu where they can get your character banned. But now there's this new god mode glitch with the taxi. And so I've seen several comments of people telling me that public sessions are unplayable anymore. I haven't played in public sessions for a few weeks. I've been playing, you know, mostly invite only and friend sessions. So I decided to hop into a public session just to see how bad it is. Now, the only thing I know about this new taxi god mode glitch is I know that it's really easy to do. That's about as far as I know. Don't tell me I don't want to know how to do it I don't care the only thing I know is that people can pretty much do this you know easily no problem and they can just keep abusing it and so I drove over to the taxi depot and I seen a lot of players over there and every every person pretty much over here is using god mode and just killing people um, the only person who wasn't using god mode is Riley who was a friend of mine and she was just in passive mode observing the um them but anyways I pull up right here and once I pull up here, there's a guy in a speedo. And this guy, this is the worst combination ever because he's in a god mode speedo with um, uh, with god mode on foot. The difference is that the reason that he wants to be in a god mode speedo is because in a regular speedo, you'd just be able to blow it up. So if, if the god mode player is in a any kind of vehicle and you fire an RPG or an explosive at it, it'll blow up the vehicle, but it won't kill the god mode player. But in this case, you can't even destroy the vehicle and can't even shoot them out either. And so they're just abusing this. And got killed by that guy a bunch of times. Then I go inside, you know, the Lost MC Clubhouse area here. I see just a bunch of pl god mode players just grouping up together and... I wanted to see whether they were going to attack me, and they did start attacking me. This one guy over here, this backdoor guy, he was also in god mode. I didn't even know that. I thought he was in a sparrow just trying to see uh, and stop them, but no, he started shooting at me as well. Fired an RPG at him, and of course, doesn't kill him either. I then went into this area here, got a few more of these god mode people. They started shooting at me, and I started firing RPGs at them. Just to show you guys, these guys are clearly in god mode. There is no um, there is no way to dispute that they aren't, but it's get, it gets really annoying. Got killed a few more times. I decided, you know what, I'm just going to get out of this area. This is getting stupid. And I ended up spawning actually right near the casino. Now, once I actually got spawned right near the casino, got spawned in kind of that track area, I get blown up by some guy on an oppressor mark too. And of course, the idiot is in god mode as well. And how I know he's in god mode is just take a look at this right here. So you see this in slow motion? This guy was such an idiot that he didn't even time the missile correctly. And so when he fired the missile down at me to blow me up, he was flying too close to the ground and his own missile blew me up. But he did survive that. So Oppressor Mark II gets destroyed, he survives that. That's how broken GT Online is. And this session alone, this was a 30-player session, I only had one friend in here with me, but this entire, you know, session, this was like, you know, five or six people that were just god mode griefing in this entire lobby. And then this guy, you know, after his Oppressor Mark II gets destroyed, the guy just keeps following me around. I knew he was gonna kill me, I knew he was gonna kill me, but I just wanted to show you guys these people are in god mode. The easiest way to show that, fire an RPG at their feet, and they are still alive. But it gets ridiculous. And so, the way to knock these guys out of god mode, what you basically got to do is you have to spawn a tank like the Kanjali, and you have to go into Headhunter, and I preferably it would be to use Ghost Organization, because these god mode griefers oftentimes are well aware of this, and if they see you on the map coming at them with a tank, they're probably going to get out of the area. So use Ghost Organization, Headhunter, and spawn a tank. And so I tried to run this um, this same guy over who was griefing me, but he knew what I was doing, and he jumped in the water, and he was just sitting in the water there. And so I'm not going to, you know, go in the water with the tank. I just decided just to get away from him. Later on, I got a Savage, and I saw that same guy who was griefing me on an Oppressor Mark I, fired a bunch of missiles at it, it actually destroyed the Oppressor Mark I, and even though the guy was parachuting, firing a bunch of explosive cannon at him, still did absolutely nothing, doesn't even kill him. I just basically said, screw this at this point, I'm getting out of this lobby. Now, me and my friends, we ended up joining another lobby, we were just running a bunch of MC contracts, just chilling, you know, playing as like a biker gang, having fun, hanging out, and again, there was god mode griefers. So the second lobby, 
it happened again. And the thing is, though, is a lot of these God Mode users, I don't think they even realized that I was just a YouTuber, because these guys were just griefing, like, people already in the lobby. They were just killing people for no reason. And so I then heard about this guy over here, and people were saying this guy was using God Mode. I started following this guy just to see whether it was true or not. And, of course, he was using God Mode. I'm guessing he probably got a little scared that I was following him at first. But then afterwards, he came back after me, which is no reason here. And it just shows that he was using God Mode. So look at this. Fired an explosive sniper rifle. This is one of the reasons I carry an explosive sniper rifle, so I can stop people coming at me with vehicles at a distance. But fired it at his police car. And you guys see, blows up. He clearly survives. And then afterwards, he just keeps coming after me. Now, what I did, I used Ghost Organization. And this is the closest I got to stopping one of these God Mode Griefers. I did run him over. I was really close to getting him. I almost had him, but he realized what I was doing and he teleported away. I don't know what he did. He probably accepted some kind of job invite. That's probably what he did. But it just shows you how, it just shows you how ridiculous this is and how toxic these people are. And I know, you know, I've been ranting about God Mode for, you know, five plus minutes at this point. But this is two separate lobbies. Two separate lobbies, guys that I had joined, and this was out of control. And again, these people weren't all going after me necessarily because I was a YouTuber. Some of them might have realized that I was a YouTuber, but these people were already killing people when I had joined the lobby. And so these God Mode griefers are basically all over the place. And now, you know, the crap, the crap also on PC. So neither PC nor console is safe. And, you know, on console, you don't have to worry about getting banned, but you can't even play in a public session anymore. And so, you know, I would probably recommend playing in, in friends or invite-only sessions, at least until this issue is fixed. But this just shows you how incompetent Rockstar is. And this GT Online is completely broken. That Rockstar support, like they, their official Twitter and Rockstar Games Twitter, can't even make a simple tweet. They can't even make a simple tweet saying, guys, don't worry, we're working on it. We are going to fix this issue. And guess what? If you can't even fix the issue, do you know what you do if you can't fix the issue? Because I know I have those fanboys that are going to defend Rockstar and saying, oh, it's hard to fix, professional. They can't fix it. If you cannot fix it, do you know what you do? You take the damn taxi out of the game because it's, the taxi is how they get into God Mode. Take the damn taxi business out of the game and then bring it back once you fix God Mode. Nobody's going to be complaining about the taxi business being removed. Take it out of the game until you figure out how to fix it. But this shows you how incompetent Rockstar support is. They don't know what the hell they're doing. And it's about time you guys get a community manager. Get a community manager. Get somebody that knows what the hell they're doing Talk to the community. You've been running online services on this game for te nearly 10 years now. Why are you so against talking to your community? Why can you not simply talk to your community, talk to your fans, have a reasonable discussion with them? But of course, Rockstar can't even simply do that. But let me know what you guys think down below. I'm sorry for my rant here, guys. I'm just pissed off that stuff like this is completely, you know, unnoticed by Rockstar. They're not even doing anything. They can't even reassure us that they're working on a simple problem. They can't do any of that. None of that. Why is that so hard? And the worst part about this, guys, do you know what the worst part about this? It's not even the God Mode griefers, in my opinion. The worst part about this is that you are going to have people who are going to defend Rockstar no matter what, and they're going to say, oh, you're complaining, stop complaining. If you don't like it, find a new session. Well, guess what? I shouldn't have to find a new session. Yes, I understand. If I play in a public session, I get that. People can kill me. I'm more at risk of other players. I fully understand that. However, though, I should have the right to also defend myself, and I can't defend myself in this. At least if I have, you know, regular griefers come after me, at least I can kill them them back, but here, I can't kill them back, so no, I shouldn't have to find a new session, and the people defending rocks are saying, stop complaining, you know, it, it's, it's hard for them to fix it, like I said, get the damn taxi business out of the game until you fix this simple problem. But no, no, of course, you're going to have the people defending Rockstar, you're going to have people that are going to say that I'm toxic, that I'm just, that I'm just, that I'm trying to make Rockstar look bad, but trust me, I don't need to make Rockstar look bad, and I'm not even trying to make Rockstar look bad. I'm just simply pointing out issues in the game. When Rockstar does something right, I will, I will praise them. When they mess up on something, I will criticize them. And here, they've messed up so many other companies would have come out and issued a statement by now and would have said, we're fixing this issue, we're on it. But nope, Rockstar can't be bothered to do that. I'm sorry, guys. I know this video is going for like 10 minutes now, but I'm just, it's just, uh, I just had to vent a lot. I just had a lot of, you know, anger and just annoyance at Rockstar just over the years, a lot of stuff, and their support is the worst that I have ever seen. This is the worst developer that I have ever seen communicating with their fans.
There's not one other developer that I've seen that is as bad as Rockstar. There's other developers that are bad when it comes to fan communication, don't get me wrong. But in my line of games, the games that I have personally played, out of all the major companies, big companies, Rockstar is the worst one when it comes to communicating with their fans. They can't even give us a simple that we're fixing the issue. But sorry about my rant there, guys. Hope that you guys at least agree with me. Let me know what you think down below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, guys. Have a wonderful day, everyone.